Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can connect to your Google not Google but YouTube account so for example this is the YouTube account which I have and here is my channel ID which will help me connect as a YouTube scribe uh, as a YouTube channel to get all of my video information and related statistic or the matrix which youtube the youtube or google is maintaining for me all right so how we can do that is by coming over here clicking on add the data down there you have the youtube analytics in youtube analytics you have a couple of options like all everything uh, like for example you have some google pages you have my channel you have content owners and uh, things like those so what it does is basically uh, give you the information about your own channels but if you can't find it then you can come into the advance and you can select the channel and paste the channel id over here and i will click on add once i click on add it will start getting the information from my channel but important thing is it should be yours because this is the same account which i'm using for both my google account uh, for youtube or for gmail and even the google data studio all right so once we have in this information what we can do is click on let's say a table chart over here and put it over here so now you see the youtube analytics is coming as the data source and down there you have uh, the default dimension which has been picked by the google data studio as the title of my videos so a lot of different videos which i have posted all of the titles that i have it over here as you can see and uh, down there average view percentage is basically the statistic which you know is, is shown to me and then i can do a lot of a uh, lot of you know uh, metrics or analysis based on my needs down here you have the available fields like annotation if i have used any annotation what is a date if i want to put a date filter external video id external user id um, if I have used any info card, LinkedIn thumbnail, public theme, uh, video link, video title. Let's say you want uh, the along with the video title which is present here. You want the video link as well. well. Not here but over here. So now you have the link as well. So if I just make it a little bit big and change this over here so now you have the video title and if i go into the view mode you have the video title which i can click and directly jump by looking at uh, what video i want to see so right now it is showing the 100 videos over here but as you can see uh, i have somewhere around 782 so so you can view all of this information uh, or i can view all of my uh, video by just coming over here I think uh, it also gives me the option to download it as a CSV. Let's say uh, maybe I can share. I want to share all of this videos with my subscribers or, or anyone who is watching here so that they can quickly search and uh, directly go over there and instead of exploring my entire channel. Then in that case, I can export to Sheets or download it as a CSV. I think export to Sheet is, is a better option because then in that case, uh you can share easily with others so the main point which i wanted to show you is how easy it is once you have the youtube connected uh and suppose you have thousands of videos then management of those videos analyzing the metric based on your needs or creating a custom metric becomes really easy with all of these uh dimensions and measures coming given here so video likes added video likes removed views video share watch time all of that is is readily available we can simply go in and uh, start creating the analysis but mainly i wanted to show you how you can connect to youtube analytics you can create a table chart or any other chart by coming over here for example suppose you have created some section for example i have click sense click view tableau python and i think some of the r related videos then i can just create maybe one category uh, which basically says that uh, video category and in that video category i want to see 
uh, based on the views which category is being viewed a lot or I can have a bar chart for the comparison perspective then in that case it, it becomes really easy that uh, based on what analysis I want to do for my YouTube channel so that's about how you can connect get the data insight and um, do whatever you want to do with your data all right so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic